Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see about map in STL C++. So in the previous video, we saw about vector, binary search algorithm and set in STL. So here we are going with maps. So what is map basically is like, it's like a storage for like key and value pair. Okay. So consider like you're having a key and there is a value. Okay. So it's not going to be like an individual element. Like for arrays, we have the zeroth index will be having only one value. But here in the map, the zeroth index will be having a key and its value. So we can access this value only by using this key. Okay. And a map can have multiple of those. Okay. So it can have like a key value and it can also have like many key values. Okay. So this is basically a map. And how we will represent is that. So let me show you an example. So consider let M be our map. So it's going to be like in the form of one is two. Uh, yeah, this is just a representation. Okay, this is this isn't how it looks, but I'm just showing you as an example. So it's going to be two B and three C. Okay. So now if you print uh, M of one, okay. So if you just print M of one, we will be getting the output as A because one is the key and A is the value. And if you put uh, if you just print M of two, we'll be getting B as output. And another main thing is that this one doesn't refer to the index okay it doesn't represent the first index or zeroth index one represents the key present in that particular map so this is how it works if you print uh, if you put m of c we will be getting c as the output that's it very simple and uh, map are also called as dictionary okay uh, if you are familiar in by using python it's known as dictionary in python and hash map in java okay now let's come to the uh, c++ part okay so let me just delete all those so in C++ we have like three different types of map. So one is a normal map and an another one is the unordered map, unordered map and another is the multi map. So each one has its own purpose and its own usage. So unordered. So let's get started with the normal map. Okay. So for map we need to like if you are only using the map, uh, map library or a map function, how will we include as included is going to be as include map. That's it. Map, sorry so if you don't want to like include this alone you can just go with this one it's not going to be an issue and now i will show you like how to input uh values inside a map this can be done both uh, like from the user as well as manually so i will show you both the methods so first i will go with the manual one so it's going to be map and as i told you earlier map is going to have a key and a value and this key can be of any data type and this value can also be of any data type and it can be at both can be also of same data type. That's not going to be an issue. So first I will show you here uh, both the int as well as int map. Okay. So both of both our key and value is going to be a integer of both of integer data type. So let m be the name of our map. So how to initialize that we, we, we should not use here equal to and just put this one like this uh, curly bracket and initialize that we are doing for vector as well as array. So here we, we won't have this equal to sign itself. So it's going to be like I'll put one comma 10 and just copy this, put a comma over here, paste it and I will change it to two comma 20. Then I will put comma and I'll put three comma 30. So this is my map. Now this is how you initialize uh, manually values. So here one is the key, 10 is the value. 2 is the key, 20 is the value, 3 is the key and 30 is the value. So now I will just print and show you, okay. C out, I will put M of 1, okay. So if I just execute it now, so I'm getting the output as 10, okay. So as I told you earlier, this M of 1 does not refer to the index, okay. It's not like the zeroth index, first index. So if it, if it were the first index means we would have got the output as 20, but it's not that case. Here we are having key, okay. So now I will just put uh, some other like random values. So it's going to be like 50 and it's going to be 100. So we just print uh, M of 50. So this 50 corresponds to the, not the index, but this 50 key, okay. So in map, that's the main difference, major difference, everything. Here we will be accessing only with the help of key, not the index. So you have to be very, uh, really cautious about that. So if I just execute and write down, I'll be getting the output as 100. So I'm getting the output as 100, that's fine. So this is how you like declare it manually. So now I'll add some more values. Okay. Let it be, let it, let I add the same key itself. Okay. So it's going to be one comma 20. I'll put uh, one comma 40 like that. 
so as you can see here this one key is repeated thrice the value can be anything like the value can be like anything i am just using having my key as the same key okay so this is my map number so how many elements are there in this map this is one element two three four five and six so we need we are having like six key and value pairs okay this is one pair two pair three pair and like we are having six so now what if i put m dot size okay i am getting the output as four and the main reason because i am getting this output is that in normal map that is this normal map we can't have any duplicate keys okay we can have duplicate values like we can have 10 for all the values but we can't have duplicate keys duplicate key in uh, in case like here we are having only uh, three ones okay so this is a key this is its duplicate this is its another duplicate so what map what map does is that it just neglects these two so okay so these two are neglected in that case we will be having only four key and value pairs that's why we have got the output as four these two because they are having the same key one one already one is present so these two are just getting neglected and we are getting the output as four so if i just change it to some other key i will change it to uh, we are not having five we are not having six as well so if we just change it and i will just have the same value okay so 100 is already there i'm having 100 here as well 20 is already there 20 is here also so if i just write now i'll be getting the output as six so I'm getting the output as six. So the only constraint is that in normal map, okay, in multi map we can have duplicates. We can basically like have any like same key for many key and value pairs. But in normal map we can't have duplicate keys. We can have duplicate values. So here we are having six, but we are having duplicate values. Twenty uh, two and five key has values twenty, and fifty and six key has value hundred. But that that isn't going to affect our map. So this is the logic. Map can have uh, duplicate values but not duplicate keys so we have done with the size and we have just initialized so now i will show you like how we can iterate throughout this map okay so for iterating we just put for auto it and m okay so this is the variable name this is the auto like data type and this is the name of the map m and we just put a curly bracket c out and here is the fact like here we are having two values okay a pair has two values a key and a value so how we can access that if you put it dot first okay if you put c out it dot first this will correspond to all the key present in our map so it will come 1 2 3 50 5 6 will be printed so i will just print this and show you i will put just a mdel so if i just uh, print it now i will be getting all the keys present in our map so as you can see I'm getting 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 50. And another important thing is that all the keys are sorted. Okay, so as you can see here, my all the keys are sorted over here. And this is another thing, map also sorts all the key. So it just sorts all the key in ascending order. By default, it's ascending order, like set as well. Set as also default of ascending order. So all the keys are sorted over here. So now what if we go with uh what if you want to print this? value else as well we'll just go over here and i'll just add some space i'll put its id dot second that's it so this is how we are going to access our key this is how we are going to access the corresponding value so we just execute it now our values are getting printed but here we have like this perfect ascending order over here as well so now i will just like have some change i will put this three as uh i will just put it as some thousand okay i'll put it as out thousand so now now i just execute it so we can see here that three is coming over here so this means that when we print uh, our key and value together it's basically sorting based upon the value of the key it does not care about the value present in the that value okay it's only caring about sorting based on the value present in our key so basically on three is getting sorted so if it was sorted based on our value three should have been like the last element because it's basically ascending order so this is the highest value so this should be at the last but if i just print this one alone okay i'm just printing the values alone i don't know like what we are going to get the output just printing the values and it's the same here as well okay so it doesn't sort on the values it only sorts based on the values that are present in keys that is the key okay it sorts based on keys okay to be more precise it starts based on this one here okay, this one two three to be precise that's it so now i will show you like how we can use iterator to iterate throughout this so 
it's really simple for iterator as well so you will just go here and include as include iterator and just copy this one paste it colon colon iterator i will name it as it as well, it itself so it's going to be for it equal to m dot begin it uh, not equal to m dot end it plus plus and it's going to be uh, c out we need to put asterisk it okay as i told you it's address reference to access the value person in address we need to put asterisk so it's going to be asterisk of so for the first just put some space asterisk it dot second handle okay, so we just execute it now so it's showing error. okay so we need to put this asterisk it inside a uh, bracket okay so asterisk it and this asterisk it second also inside a bracket okay so just right now i won't get that error so i'm not getting the error and just prints in our ascending order so what if we wanted to do that in descending order what if we want our map to get sorted in descending order so for that it's going to be like we need to put a greater int over here so if i just run it now so as you can see here our map is getting sorted in descending order and it gets sorted upon the key okay so as you know 50 is highest key so it comes it doesn't care about the values it only sorts based on the key okay so this is how we can like uh, uh declare a map and initially initialize values manually and just iterate and display the key and values so now let's just go and delete this one okay so we can also add values like this way and just put m which is the name of our map i'll just put m of 1 equal to 10 and m of 20 say i will put it as 200 i just display it now i'll just say execute and run it so we're getting like key and value so this one is basically our key and this 20 is also our key and this 10 and 200 are its corresponding values so you can also do it this way and you can also have like m dot insert it's going to be m dot insert of just put a curly bracket like this and just add one 10 20 one comma 20 there and i will just copy it again paste it i will put 2 comma 40 so i will just execute and compile it and run now you can get the values so i will just do this like another three four times okay so so we have like three six four and five put 30 over here i'll put 34 over here just change the values as well 48 50. okay it's fine let's have a duplicate as well let's have one same okay so if i run it now we won't be getting two ones in the output because one normal map does not allow any duplicates so there isn't any duplicates over here so now let's go with the unordered map so how to change to unordered map really simple you need to just go over here and type unordered underscore map and you need to just copy this one and just paste it paste it over here that's it so let us now run and see what how unordered map works so it's really interesting uh these are getting printed in a random order that's what another it's not basically like the order we have inserted because we have inserted 1 2 34 4 but here it's coming 4 34 2 and 1 so this is not this isn't in our inserted order or ascending order descending order it's totally an out of order that is unordered so it's completely an unordered like random it's not getting in a random order and another interesting thing in order map is that this also doesn't tolerate any duplicates so we have we are inserted two ones having same key and we aren't getting that over here so this is the like plain difference between map and another map and insertion in another map is like really quick and because here it doesn't perform any sorting and it, de it like depends upon your use if you wanted a map to have a storage in a form of like sorted order you can use normal map and if your use is just i just want to store key and value pairs i don't care whether it is sorted or not you can just go and use another map which is very much faster in insertion time than uh, normal map because it avoids sorting so this is for another map and let's now go and do for multi-map 
So multi map, it's present in the, our normal map itself. And here we are just going to type multi map. That's it. Just paste it and paste it. So if I just execute it now, it's really interesting. And there are like two differences uh, compared to our previous another map. Here we are getting five key value and pair, value pairs because we are having our duplicate one. So important difference is that multi map allows duplicate keys. So that's a real game changer in multi map. And another thing, multi map sorts the sorts the map. Okay. So here it's getting sorted in ascending order based on keys. As it told you, just sees only the keys, not the values. So just getting sorted in keys. So if I just go over here and put uh, greater int over here, so it will sort in descending order. That's it. So all the other like previously used like arrays, find, clear, it can also be applied for map. So let me put m dot clear over here and let me just see out m dot see out m dot size. Okay. So if we just execute and run it, operating the size as zero because this is all the elements and once declared size it becomes zeros. So this is how you use m.clear and I will show you m.erase and m.find. Find it's going to be m.find and the key, okay? You should not pass the value. So it's going to be key. So our key is, let's say, 34 over here. And this basically returns an iterator reference to our 34, okay, in the map. So we can't just go and print mc out m.find 34 because it doesn't go, it's not going to give return 1 or 0. It's just going to give the iterator reference. So for that, we can store it in a auto uh, variable, okay? So it's going to be auto i m.find. And using this, we can just access our, like, value present inside it. Like, so let's put uh, uh, i, I dot first some space, and let's put i dot second okay so if we just run it this now okay so we need to put asterisk okay asterisk of i here also we will do asterisk of I. okay so if we just run it now Okay, so as you can see at the end, we are getting 34 and its value. So this is how we can check like we can whether it's present or not inside our values present inside our map or not. So for remove array, uh, sorry, erase, it's going to be really simple. It's going to be like uh, erase m dot erase. Just pass the key. Okay, let me let me put one. So let me just copy this and paste it. Let me just put a C out. Saying after erasing, and let me have a handle. So let me just run and see how it works. So as you can see here, uh, we had one okay, but it just deletes that particular key okay. So uh, and I have inserted two ones, and as you can know here, I'm getting only one because it's just a normal map. And it just deletes that one as well. So what if this uh, this was uh, unordered map? Like, I'm oh, sorry, a multi map. Like, we put multi multi map, and let me have this as well as multi map. Okay, so now it's a multi map. So if I just run it now. So basically, uh, so here I'm having two ones, but it just deletes that two ones. So erase function basically will delete all the keys that are having. That we are, that the element we have passed okay so if it's like it does not occur the first occurrence okay it just occurs all the things all the entries so it just removes this one this one as well so that's it for this video i guess i would have i hope you would have found this video useful we have discussed about map run by multi map so it has been a long video and i'll be also posting like so many stl videos in the coming uh days so i've also done many videos in cc plus java python blender and unity so do check out videos of my channel subscribe about me and thanks for watching